Hey everybody, my name is Jay and this is I Have a Samurai. Today we are going to look over a few matches that I had with Linkors just last night. Uh, he's playing Geralt on the left while I'm playing Amy on the right. Uh, this is a matchup that I'm pretty sure Link would say is pretty tough for Amy. I would agree to a certain extent. Um, I don't feel it's as bad as, say, characters like Aswell and Siegfried where the damage disparity is as high, but Geralt has tons of tools. I mean, if you guys have seen any of my uh, videos from when I used to play Geralt, you'll know that I think that Geralt beats any character that has to get in and do a lot of pressure because he has all of his meter burn options give him a ton of tools to deal with that kind of stuff. It's very difficult to do pressure with Amy when you have to worry about a parry. It's very difficult to do pressure against Geralt when he has armor, even if you're hitting him a ton of times. So it can be a little bit difficult, but I think there's a certain spacing that you can work within to try and make this matchup a little bit more effective. One of the things that Link is very good at, you'll see as the matches go on, is his ability to press buttons in situations that normally people respect Amy, where, as you can tell, they really shouldn't. Um, that's one of the main things that I want to talk about with these matches. So you see right there, he's immediately doing stuff like jump kick when I'm going through stance transitions after he's gotten hit by 6-6-A. Lots of people like to try and respect that um, and just try to block Amy, but it's much better to do tons of pressing buttons here. So as you can kind of tell right off the bat, I mean, I barely got my first sentence out. In every opening that I've had where I've been at slight frame advantage or disadvantage where I normally cancel into a stance, he's done jump kick, he's done reversal edge, he's done reverse GI. So he's always going with a bet uh, to stop the pressure. And that's honestly a pretty good idea against Amy, as I'm sure I've talked about before. Taking solace in the fact that more often than not, Amy's going to have an opportunity to hit you, but if you just try to cycle through your options, you're going to potentially win out on the damage if you're right more often than not. Actually, you don't even have to be right more often than not. You can just be right one out of five times, and you'll be good. It's not necessarily that case with Geralt, uh, because the damage isn't that high, unless you do what I just did there, which is the absolute worst thing that you want to do against nice. uh, Geralt is re-GI, because that's the best way to, like, if I if I did that kind of guess one more time, I would have lost the whole round. I would have lost a, a one round. He also has really good GIs. There's not a lot of people I know that do a lot of GIs yeah. after mid-parry A, and he has, like, good timing for dealing with that in every uh, situation. Uh, so that's not something that I'm used to, and it's something that took me a really long time to get used to in this set. I'm not sure if I can get a better punish off of Geralt 4A. I guess it would depend on the spacing, but that's one of the things that Geralt yeah, has uh, going for him, is that he has things like 4A for a long-range tech crouch, and now with this new patch, 4-4B is really good for a long-range tech crouch that can I deal with so uh, 6B too. pressure and stuff. And I just lost the round. So that's another thing, is that he's very good at dealing with AMS pressure by pressing buttons. One of the things that I can do if I have red roses already is do 6BB6 A plus B, uh, which will totally smack him out of the parry, but I don't have red roses uh, at this point in the match, so meh. Um, and so it can be a pretty scary thing to yeah, try and pressure uh, Geralt, especially at so this kind of spacing. Of in fact, I even think that Link is because mentioning that at the moment. Uh, but yeah. It can be pretty difficult, especially with somebody who's so comfortable with all of Amy's different stances. So one thing that I'm trying to do is uh, he's doing a lot of things where he's poking at a relatively good range, and then when I try to reverse poke with 6BB, his spacing is too good and he's too far away so he can step it. So I'm using more 4AA and potentially even 6-6A at a really close range. So here I end up taking too big of a risk. Um, I thought that he was going to come in. I can't soul charge there, which I tried to do, uh, and I end up losing the round. So part of that had to do with the stage. Part of that had to do with the fact that I'm just not necessarily used to dealing with players who are <laughs> so aggressive <laughs> after getting hit by 6BB, oh, after getting hit by 6-6A, stuff like that, which they should be. This is, uh, this is a good idea by Link, by constantly using That's defensive options to though. get away from Amy's pressure. One of the things that I can start doing is doing things like 6BBB, actually using the last part of the string, even though it's unsafe, uh, because I'll get like a counter hit if he's trying to like mash. Um, doing 6BB and then just simply stopping and not continuing with the pressure. And like I said before, well, with Red BB Roses, you have the ability to do 6BB, 6A plus B. And that'll be a huge amount of damage to potentially keep him from doing stuff like that. So this situation happened before. You see how he tried to like keep up the reversal edge to try and hit me out uh, later. So that's something that I definitely am not used to dealing with. He also knows how to duck 6AA. 
that's I guess a new thing that he's starting to do in the 6k charge um, you see me trying to like pressure after I get hit or after I block 6bb brave edge um, I'm not used to it just not really having the option to press buttons the 1a is just simply too long for uh, or like the the spacing is too far away after the 6bb brave edge for me to even like start a pressure it's something that I have to get used to in this matchup and you see me using just mid parry A and then just kind of stopping right. rather than continuing pressure like I normally do. I'm used to Geralt to a certain right extent, so I know to uh, uh, he could have punished a little bit better. Um, but see, that's one of the things that makes this Wait. matchup a little oh, bit more comfortable for me uh, for rather than somebody like oh, other so bad please. matchups like <laughs> Siegfried and Aswell is that he hit uh, like he blocked the low parry K and he got wall rising BB. I'm sure he can get something at least a little bit better, but I'm used to getting hit so heavily, right. uh, which is one of the most frustrating things. This is one of the things that I really like about post-GI stuff uh, with Amy, is uh, her A plus B lethal hit is very, very good. That's good damage plus a red rose, so it gives me red roses, which makes things a little bit easier as well. It really sucks when I'm constantly clashing. And I definitely didn't want that uh, the cancel into the rose off of the 6-6-B. I'm pretty sure that I can mid-parry in that, that situation. And here you can see, like, I, it, 6 BB on hit. This is one of the things that you definitely need to get used to with Amy, is the difference in your mix-up potential of 6 BB on block versus 6 BB on hit. 6 BB on hit is obviously going to be a lot better, but your options, I think, I think radically change. Um, 6 BB on block, it's, it, you know, one of the things that I have the toughest times with, uh, with, in th with this character is hit confirming, hit and block confirming with such super fast moves. My uh, my reactions are really not all that great, uh, and her options and what she should be doing changes radically whether something got blocked or got hit. Maybe that's a little bit obvious, but uh, yeah, it can so. be really difficult for a guy like me, who, you know, if you need to hit confirm things so quickly. That was a little bit ambitious of me. <laughs> is uh, the 236A plus B right off the bat. This is, this is the kind of thing that I was talking about before. There's two things I want to mention here. He hit me with a small poke and then started to step around, and so I immediately go for a 66A, even though the spacing isn't necessarily appropriate for that, just because that's the one move that I have that's going to be catching him at that range. So I'm immediately trying to surprise him with additional pressure, rather than going for a poke like 6BB, which would get stepped, and I'm not 100% on if 4AA would have caught him there. And the other thing that I want to talk about is that here, he's trying to grab me after getting 6 say on hit he's taking these kinds of bets which is the kind of thing that not a lot of people are doing yet so this is like an additional level of amy yomi or anti amy yomi as uh, the case may be so I'm um, lucky with the catch with the 2-2-B two, two there. And so this is something that uh, I even think that Link mentions it here. Linkors actually was the one who recommended that rather, even when I have Red Roses, doing 2-2-B two, two, and doing like the follow-up uh, AMS A plus B, the Oki for that is basically non-existent. I've talked about it in previous videos. You can just roll away and you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, and it does about like high 60, 67, 68 damage. Um, but meanwhile, if I do... 236KK to follow it up, then I have a follow up of either 1B into 4BB or 4BB straight up. 4BB on its own is going to catch rolling, it's going to catch anything uh, unless they're stand blocking, right? And so I'm essentially sacking 20 or so damage. Uh, in order to potentially do another 40 to 50. It's pretty good. I, I think that I'm going to be using it a little bit more often. Uh, the one thing that I have noticed is that it does not work on players who are uh, face down. So essentially, if you whiff punish somebody with 2-2-B and they were back turned, then they can just stand up. Uh, once you hit them with the 2 through 6 kk they don't have to block the 1B. So it's important to note that if they're face down, then the mix-up is that, uh... null, and you should just go with the regular combo. AMSKK. Hell yeah. So he's going to soul charge. This is one of the things that upset me the most in the set is that uh, Geralt players, myself included, They're love to do 2A plus B right after a soul charge. And I 100% read it, but it looks like the yeah, yeah. AMS A plus B is just simply too slow to but. catch somebody. I guess after a soul charge, at least, because oh, he's at plus no, 8. What is happening? So there I could have done uh, the AMS A plus B and totally blown up uh, the parry, which I guess I should have done. Out. You're going back to the animal, and so he's being, being again warrior. very aggressive uh, after um, after 6-6-A on hit, and that's how I end up punishing him. And you see there that I'm catching his, uh, his GI, which he's been doing a lot off of mid-parry A. Um, I understand the idea of GIing after mid-parry A to like, get the... Uh, 
so that way you don't have to worry about mid parry AK, which is really good on block and stuff like that. But I'm not 100% sure that it's the right answer, if only because mid parry AA, as far as I know, is punishable on its own. And canceling into the high parry obviously gives you the option of doing a break attack, a mid, or a low. So, you know, when I play against Sandman, he'll just shove an axe into the my body, and he'll just punish that if I go for mid parry AA. So... You know, I, I can understand it, but at the same time, I'm not 100% convinced that it's the definite way to go uh, with that kind of an option. But, uh, you know, we'll see in the future uh, if that ends up being the case. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I think this matchup is not necessarily as bad as everybody thinks it is. I think everybody thinks that Amy loses, like, every single matchup. <laughs> so Amy's still a much deeper character than I think we're giving her credit for, and obviously the changes to her command grab and to her AMS pressure in general is still something that a lot of people are exploring, myself included. So hopefully we'll see uh, more information as Amy is a little bit more fleshed out. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time with another video once I discover something else or for a new matchup that, uh, that I end up getting some experience in. But uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.